The other day I was watching a video about the soccer player who was too dumb to feel pressure. And while the title made me laugh, I think this story touched on some really interesting ideas. Basically, it was about this kid, Cole Palmer, who might have, at times, appeared to be low IQ, but was actually really good, and his talent was mostly misunderstood. So Palmer, third time's a job. What a goal! Which got me thinking, who's the basketball equivalent? Who's the guy in the NBA that is so fearless, it's logically insane? so numb to the pressure that they must be stupid. A few players definitely came to mind. First was J.R. Smith, especially after that NBA Finals fiasco, but that feels like more of a singular lapse in judgment than anything else. Bill misses, J.R. Smith brings it back out. You get the feeling J.R. Smith thought the they had the lead. He no. didn't know the score. And LeBron James is wide open on the, at the top when he gets the rebound. That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. Ben Simmons, he's got one of the worst high school GPAs in NBA history. But he's a great playmaker and clearly feels pressure. Gives it up. Oh, it was right there. Boy, Simmons, uncontested, had a layup, but he leaves it for Thibault. Well, but that's when you know that the game is in your head. Then the dots started to connect. Who's stupid and successful? Fearless, but it cost him dearly. Jordan Poole. Think about it. Poole gets it off in time. Oh, he it Jordan Poole can hit cold-blooded shots and win games but then also gets sucker punched by his own teammate. Something is going on in his brain where he doesn't seem to feel pressure around him like a normal human being. So this is the story of an NBA player whose basketball IQ and personality has baffled us all. And the craziest part, he's just getting started. From the moment Jordan Poole stepped foot onto an NBA court, he played like someone who wasn't aware of the stakes or at least didn't care about them. This was a player who took shots other rookies wouldn't dare attempt. He was fearless. Ball attacking, corkscrewing up and in. That confidence turned to results quickly. Over a three year span, pool scoring jumped from 8.8 .8 his rookie year to 12 to 18.5 points per game in 2022, solidifying his place as a key part of the Warriors offense. Jordan's made so many big plays for us and, and helped us win so many games. He became known for his long range shooting, taking 7.6 threes per game and hitting 36% of them. He was fine with pulling up from anywhere on court. Shots that had fans shaking their heads until somehow they dropped through the net. Then came the incredible finals run. Poole, the official splash nephew at this point, delivered in high pressure moments with clutch shot after clutch shot. One of the most iconic moments was in game two of the finals. That step back three from 30 feet against the Celtics. He didn't do it just once either. On the very next play, Poole did this. Yes, Otto Porter was wide open, but that didn't matter. Poole was thriving, not just surviving under the kind of pressure that breaks most players. But here's the thing, what makes Jordan Poole so captivating on his best nights also makes him a liability when things start to go wrong. His lack of fear, that same trait that fueled those spectacular shots, became reckless when the margin for error shrank. The very next season exposed that side of Jordan Poole. While his scoring numbers stayed high at 20.4 points per game, his shooting efficiency plummeted. He shot just 43% from the field and 33% from three-point range, a stark drop from his finals form. It wasn't just his shooting either. Poole's assist rate, sitting at 4.5 assists per game, was one of the lowest among starting guards. He wasn't creating for teammates like other top-tier point guards. Players like Tyrese Halliburton, who posts an assist percentage of nearly 40%, while still averaging more points per game than Poole. Instead, Poole seemed locked into his ways of hero ball, often opting for contested shots rather than making the extra pass. It was if the baddies in the front row went from fueling him to becoming his kryptonite. His turnover rate shot up to 14%, and for every highlight reel shot, there were mistakes piling up that cost the Warriors possessions and eventually games. It wasn't just a physical blow. This was the culmination of a brewing frustration within the team. Jordan Poole's brash confidence, once a spark, was starting to rub his own teammates the wrong way. That season, Jordan Poole was defined by his inconsistency. On some nights, he'd flash that brilliance that he had that made him so valuable during the Warriors title run. But more often than not, he was dragging the team down with his reckless play. When Poole attempted more than 15 shots, the Warriors winning percentage dropped below 50%. 
Jordan Poole's struggles were even more apparent when he came off the bench. As a starter, he averaged nearly 25 points per game and 45% shooting. But coming off the bench, his shooting dropped to 41% and his turnovers spiked to 3.1 per game. It was like he needed the stability of a veteran leadership to play within a system. And when left to his own devices, the game became chaotic. The Warriors had really hoped Poole would grow into a more disciplined player, but by the end of the season, it was clear that things weren't working. The result? Jordan Poole was traded to the Washington Wizards, a team in desperate need of a star player. Last season in 2023-2024, that was supposed to be Poole's chance to prove that he could be the centerpiece of an NBA franchise. Without Steph, Clay, or Dre to lean on, this was the moment to show that his fearlessness could translate into leadership. But instead, it exposed his weaknesses even further. As the focal point of the offense, Poole struggled to make the right reads, often choosing difficult shots over open teammates. Poole's scoring dipped to 17.4 points per game. His efficiency hit rock bottom, and his turnovers ballooned to a career-high 3.1 turnovers per game. The Wizards finished at the bottom of the NBA standings, with a 15-67 and record. And Poole's rating? An abysmal, negative 11.1. For all the shots that Poole made, there were too many moments where he looked lost, unable to generate consistent offense, or lead his team in any meaningful way. Basically, without the stability of Golden State's system, Poole seemed very dumb, this time in a bad way. But Jordan Poole still has the potential to turn things around. In actuality, his fearlessness isn't a flaw, it's a feature. It's the reason he's been able to succeed at such a high level. Like Kobe has mentioned in the past, great shooters are always thinking about their next shot, not the ones they missed before. The key for Poole is finding the balance between that confidence and some discipline. He needs to refine his decision making, understand when to take the shot and when to pass. It's not really about changing who he is, but about playing smarter. Thankfully, the Wizards seem to recognize this. In the offseason, the Wizards brought in veteran players to support Poole and help him grow. Jonas Valachunas, a steady presence in the paint, will provide leadership and protect the rim. What was your reaction to the signing of Jonas Valanciunas? I was prank. Giving Poole the freedom to focus on scoring without carrying the defensive burden. Then there's Malcolm Brogdon, Fake, left hand. Oh, an experienced guard who can handle the ball and run the offense. Brogdon's presence means Poole doesn't have to be the primary playmaker. He can return to what he does best, scoring. Stops. Sadiq Bey adds another layer of versatility, creating more space for Poole to operate. The pressure is no longer solely on Jordan Poole's shoulders, though he wouldn't have felt it anyway. The team certainly does, and that could be exactly what Poole and the team needs to regain their confidence without spiraling into recklessness. So have the Wizards given Jordan Poole and Kyle Kuzma the pieces they really need to succeed? I don't know, but it's up to them to make the most of it. If he can embrace his role where he's not the sole focus and he can play with the system and trust his teammates, the sky's the limit. Poole has a chance to rediscover the form that made him such a valuable piece in Golden State, but it's a critical moment. Poole needs to recognize that while his fearlessness is his strength, it's also a thing that we've seen in the past derail careers, if not channeled properly. The difference between a great player and a cautionary tale is how they evolve when their weaknesses are exposed. Jordan Poole is 24 years old and his journey is far from over. He's still young, he's still learning and still evolving. The story of Jordan Poole is one of contradictions. He's both reckless and he's fearless, talented and frustrating. But if he can manage to strike a balance, the future is bright. Jordan Poole might be too dumb to feel pressure, but with the right teammates and the right mindset, that might just be his greatest strength. If you enjoy this video and want to harness your unique confidence, then click the link below. I've created a free meditation that will unlock your Jordan Poole fearlessness without making you completely oblivious to the world around you. It's based on the winning mindset of Michael Jordan. So if you've ever admired his greatness, then I think you'll really like it. Click the link below and try it out. Peace.